<laughs> man, I ain't no crab legs at the fucking goal. Man, nah, I'm going straight for the bread rolls. I don't care what nobody say. You got the butter. Y'all can already just spread that shit on there, dog. I ain't never had crab legs. I mean, you never had crab legs nah, before? I ain't never had crab legs. For real? Uh, I don't plan on it either. Why? I don't fuck with crab. I mean, crab is crab is all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a crab guy. I'm a shrimp guy and a fish guy. I'm a shrimp and a fish guy. I'll too. fuck up some, Hell some shrimp. Yeah. Fight. Let's fuck it up, man. You ready to do this or what? Yes, sir. I'm ready. Let's do it, man. Uh, before we even get this bitch going, let's cut to some funky beat, something uh, something real vibey. Get the Modern Rejects podcast started. Let's cut to it. Yes, welcome to the Modern Rejects Podcast. This is Nick. It's your boy, Chill. Back for episode 30, baby. Catch us on the YouTube, Modern Rejects Podcast, and the SoundCloud, Modern Rejects Podcast. Now is the time, if you haven't done it, put your dick back in your pants and put your tots back in your shirt because the Modern Rejects Podcast shirt. is on your fucking radio. Let's now, before it. we start the show... Big ad coming at you, man. Iron Muscle Nutrition. If you like to work out, man, if you like to sweat, if you like to, to, to get a pump on, get your focus on, get your groove on, get your vibe on, man. Iron Muscle Nutrition's the move, man. We got the BCAAs, uh, uh, blood gasm for your pump. And yes, I said blood gasm. Iron cut. If you're trying to cut that fat down, you're trying to get a from a medium or from a large to a medium, man, this is the move. Uh, we got pre-workout, man. You want some focus? Hit it up. Uh, all kinds of flavors, man. Uh, the owner, Casey Barnett, good dude, hardworking dude, man. If, if you want some, go to ironmustnutrition.com. And to save some money, use code NICK15. That's code NICK15 on ironmustnutrition.com. Now, let's start the show. I'm here with my man, Chill, baby. What's it's good, just me and John? Chill today, you know what I'm saying? Snaps, baby. Snap us. You know what else we need to do? You know what else we need to do? Class for episode 30, baby. Yes. Episode, episode 30. 30. 30 episodes, son. Yes, sir. It's uh, going down. Episode 30, ladies and gentlemen. What we've been doing for the past 25 minutes is listening to some beats. Pretty much. Some new music. Yeah. Uh, you got a project on the way. Yes, sir. Which I'm very fucking excited for. <laughs> very excited for Cause we were, so we talked about this off mic, right? Right. We want to jump right into it. You're um, the way you you rap and you flow. You don't just go on the mic and you don't talk about you know uh, whipping the four and then you know, you know all what kinds I'm of all kinds I'm of fucking shit. Fucking the four. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some shit like you don't yeah, really do, right? I, I was saying you got that Kendrick flow. You got that Kendrick mindset. The uh, you don't you know it's a, anything you rap about is about something. I feel right? you, bro. There's the uh, uh, like I told you the other day on uh, on your Friday album, in the intro, you got a part and then you say shout out to my homies on the block in the AM and shout out my homies working in the factory and pockets never get slim. Yeah, that hit my heart man. because hey. I work in the factory. Yeah, right? I used to man at That's six in the morning. And, yeah, and I Hell. <laughs> and I'm like you know what I'm saying. And, and, and if it wasn't that, it would be the other. It would be the streets. Yeah, man. I feel because that one. Because before I was in the factory, it was the streets. Yeah. I was you know on some bullshit, and then that bullshit caught up to me. Yeah, I feel and then you. that's when I had to get the real job. Yeah, right. Hey, bro. So that hit me in the fucking heart because that's when I was like, because when I heard that, that's real shit, right? We we ain't talking about fucking. Uh, how many bands you got in, in, in the foreign and shit like that. Because a lot of your shit's like, let's get our paper up. Yeah. Right? Not, not let's, Yo, you feel me? See, as an artist, you start looking at things differently. Like before, before I was like really taking this music shit serious, I used to pay attention to like how artists move their shit. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I was ready to see when this artist dropped this album, like how's it going to go? But now it's to the point where whenever I listen to new shit, I just listen to it and I, I just I pinpoint what's been changed out, 
you know, did you go to left field? You know, are you trying to switch your style up completely? You know, I'm looking at it more as an artist more than a consumer. You know, see what I'm that, saying? that that's one I was gonna, I was gonna ask you is is like when you like so say you're in the studio right yeah you lay a fuck you 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 lay a track down you listen to it are you sitting there listening to it and then you got like your notepad out and you're like no nah, that's not gonna work let me cut that part and let me go back and reverse that shit you know what. There, there is stuff that I do have that I've written, and it's it's taking me like a good amount of time to finish. Yeah. But then there's some situations where I listen to a track, I have it done for you in ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but it just depends on the beat. Like, now I do have stuff that is ready to be recorded. Mm-hmm. I have a shit ton of stuff that's ready to be recorded, but at the same time, I want to make sure that the timing is right. In the direction that I'm going for, I'm making sure that it goes the right way. Because sometimes right. releasing something at the wrong time is very crucial. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, shout out Schoolboy Q was about to release his album before, yeah. right before Nipsey, uh, and then he had to wait like two weeks after that. Yeah, man. Cause and yeah, shout out to Schoolboy for real, man. Cause, you hear his new album? Yeah, I heard. What do you think about it? It's something to ride. Well, my bad. It's something to ride to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be real with you, because you know, there's some things you listen to, you in the mood for. Mm -hmm. So definitely, when you ride, you gotta be in the mood for that for that album. I feel like, huh? You gotta be in a mood for that album. I feel like, yeah. Well, that's what. Hey, that's what music. Period. See, but that's that that that's one thing. I'm also saying is, I always feel like you gotta be in the mood for something. Like I got off work today. First song I put on intro. Right. Yeah. Next thing I put on mur- uh, murder murder scene. Right. Scene. It's it's just like, and like I told you off mic, I I be bumping do my 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 guys' stuff right, but I, it's it's never like, it's never like I bump it consistently. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. But like with your shit, that's that type of shit. Like you put on and like it don't even sound like you in the fucking first place. Why people say that? Though? I don't. They I don't say it mean, don't sound like you. Yeah. Bro, it don't sound like you. A ton of people because, say that they because be, you because you like you know you like real laid back and shit like that. Yeah, and then you true. hit a beat and you're like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what the fuck is this? You know what? I feel you. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you kind of explained it to me. It's right vibey there. though, man. The beats are on point. Oh, yeah. The fucking flow was on point, and I don't. I, I'm, I'm telling you, don't, I don't say this to a lot of my fuckers because when I listen to music, my thing when I listen to music is like I don't just listen to it and I listen to the beat, right? I want to know what you're fucking saying, right? right. That's why I, ca- I can't listen to fucking Travis Scott. I, I'm you not a Travis crazy? Scott kind of guy. I used to listen to Travis Scott. When he first came out, I was like, okay, who is this? Yeah. But this was like back when MTV was still going on, right? So he had one track that was booming. I'm like, Put okay. Put my cup of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So he had a project. It was called Owl Pharaoh. So I peeped out the album. Yeah. I'm like, okay, this album is fire. And then like, I moved down here to Texas in 2014. Then he dropped another project. I'm like, okay, this shit bumping. You got mm-hmm. Young Thug on here mm-hmm. when he was bumping. Rich Homie Quan. You got Migos on here. Cool. Every rapper you just named, all raps the same. I and they, none of them have a purpose. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> you, what I'm saying you said man. Rich Homie Quan. You said Young Thug, Travis Scott, and the Migos. Yeah. What do they all rap about in every fucking song? How many bands they got? Same shit, different. Day. How many cars they got? How much money they spend in? Yep. What's Kendrick rapping about? What's going on in the hood? What happened to him in the hood? Shit he's going through right now. Shit that America's going through right now. It's shit like that that separates the music for me. Cause like you was talking about Travis Scott. Yeah. Back in the day, his shit used to bump. But that. But if I'm if I'm trying to hear a vibe, that's not the shit I'm gonna listen to. Well, you know, that and also people lose their hunger. Because, you know, when you hungry and you really want something, you're going to work. Mm-hmm. But, you know, he's at that point where he feel like he's done enough. Yeah. So now he's just doing whatever he wants right now. Which is cool. I mean, he's one of the biggest fucking artists. But that's just because you got a whole bunch of college kids that don't give a fuck about what the dude's saying. They just care about the beat and the, how he, how he sound on the beat. You feel me? Yeah. But, no, and like, like, like I said, you just flow, man. You got a, you got a bright future, my friend. I appreciate it. And you know, what I, you know what I've been thinking about? <laughs> I'm trying to be a manager, dog. A word, dog. Listen, you need some shit done. I'm calling the, uh, I'm calling the owner at the venue, dog. Right, and we getting 
chicken fried steak in the back. We get mashed potatoes. <laughs> you feel? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm demanding shit. Oh shit, we get we need it right here. Everything. Dog, I need everything. We need lifesavers, the gummies, everything. We need uh, we need Sour Patch Kids, yep. Skittles, Starbucks. Skittles. Fuck, I want all the candies. All the candies. All the candies. We, need, we definitely need family size handicap high fries. Most yeah. definitely. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, I don't know what the fuck they are, but I get them. Hey, they, bro, you ain't never What'd had them say? before. What'd you say? Andy Cap hot fries. Then the oh, blue hot bag. fries. Yo, yeah, yeah, my mom had, likes hot fries. Bro, I was gonna say, bro, you got them. I don't fuck with before. hot fries though, bro. Them <laughs> things right there. You might as well just get fucking takis. I used to eat them heavy in high Dog, school. Everybody bro. ate them hoes heavy in high school. Hell yeah, takis. bro. Just, bro, just to lick all that stuff up. Them off hoes was turning uh, people's colon red and shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> bro. Cause let me tell you what, when a Mexican makes a, <laughs> when a Mexican makes something, dog, bro. you better believe they ain't worried about what the fuck is in that shit. shit. Hell no, nah, they like it's good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, t- I told you back in the day, I used to play in the Mexican league, right? And there would be a person in a corn cart in the outfield. Yeah, yeah, I remember what you said. No, you could be playing center field, dog. Run back, grab some corn mayonnaise and salt, and yeah. run back to the field. Hell yeah, like I'm ready. The Mexicans do not give a fuck about what they put in their food dog <laughs> and let me tell you how i know that uh, an, another way is because i work with a whole bunch of mexicans uh-huh. and i be taking a shit and them <laughs> motherfuckers running there taking shit and god damn <laughs> son they don't have no i mean just the nastiest shit right and the whole time they, they do it though you're like motherfucker what did you eat last night <laughs> like dog it's wednesday you know what i'm saying like they went to the papacitos and had a feast dog bro you gotta be careful with the Mexican food, man. Jeez. But uh, now, hey, if you want to listen to Chill, c- catch him on uh, YouTube. What's your, what's your straight YouTube? Huh? What's your What's your YouTube YouTube? Uh, Chill. I mean, you have to. It's kind of like capital C H, lowercase I. Yeah. Capital L, L-, L. capital L. If you want to find him, go on my go on the Modern Index podcast YouTube, and then go to subscribers, and he's right there. Link in the description. Uh, he's got a bright, your bright future, my friend. Yes, sir. I'm telling you. I'm just trying to spread something, you know what I'm saying? I need some type of message, you yeah. know? Cause and you know what's crazy is when we fucking, when, when I met you, how I met you, you came through to the uh, you came through the podcast. It was like episode 24, 25, something like that, right? And uh, you pull up behind Cody, and I see you get out. I'm like, I said, who is this motherfucker? <laughs> Yeah, bro, and like, then you pop up with you right last cigarette. So he's like, "Oh, he that's chill. He cool. He on the podcast." So I'm like, "All right, say what up to you, whatever." We're good. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> so we come to the podcast, and we, and you you wasn't shy to the podcast. You you said what you needed to say. You know, I always had an opinion and shit. And the thing I liked about your opinions is it wasn't like, "Yeah, that's cool," right? Like, "Yeah, I agree." It was like, "No." You like you got a you got a mini shovel in your pocket, and every time we have a conversation, you pull that shovel out and you dig in that hole, right? <laughs> and so that's what I was like. I was like, I like this motherfucker. And then I think we had you back on again the next podcast. Yeah. After the first one, you've been on ever since, right? Oh yeah. Or have you missed one? I think yeah, I think it was. You one may have missed the two. next one, and then after that, I said I told Cody I said we need to bring Chill back. It might have been one. I or think it might have been two. I think it was the first. I think it was the first one you came, and then the second one you didn't come, and then the third one, I was like, we got to get him back on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And okay. then that, and then and then once you started getting flowing, I liked the way you fit into it. So I was like, we got to make this motherfucker an official yeah. co-host to that. Well, y'all said it best. You know what I'm saying? Um, everybody's gonna have an opinion to something, but mm-hmm. you know there are those that understand, move on, and there's others. They can't get over it. Like they just mm-hmm. like they like. Oh, I, I'm I'm offended by this fucking opinion. Because like, everything everything's got to be about them. Yeah, like come on. Yeah, everything. Everybody be about has them. a reason for everything, so it's up to you on what you want to do. But for you to just sit there and just talk shit for no reason, because you know they. Well, let me tell you what they talking shit because they ain't doing shit. That's, that's the, the motherfuckers that talk shit the most ain't doing shit for real. Because man. let me tell you what, when I wasn't doing shit, you know what I was doing. Talking that shit. <laughs> and then when I started doing something, you know, I stopped doing talking shit. <laughs> because you, I don't know, man. It's just like, it's just like you get to a certain point where like 
you hit like a brick wall sometimes and you're like you're like looking around and you see this motherfucker doing this mm-hmm. this motherfucker doing this this guy's doing this this motherfucker graduated college this dude's doing you know bullshit like that and then you like you like look back on your fucking self and you're like like, the damn, fuck am I doing? What am I doing? Like it's it's kind of crazy because b- when we didn't have like Facebook and MySpace and all that shit. Yeah, I think MySpace came out when I was like, I don't know, well, how old were we when MySpace came out? I don't know. I remember Bebo. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that shit Bebo. Was, that shit was way in the two thousand before MySpace. <laughs> Hell yeah, that was like a social media. Hell yeah, no, bro. I didn't have Bebo. Bro, everybody in high school. No, I think it was actually middle school. It might have been middle school or high school. We had Bebo like a motherfucker. Everybody had one. We would find each other on there. Everybody be looking at their pictures and shit. You can customize it any way you want. Dog, bro. I remember like, the days when I had a fucking flip phone and I had to plug my USB in in the computer. Hell yeah. Go to LimeWire. <laughs> right, go to LimeWire and download some illegal shit. Hell yeah, bro. You be like, okay, is this shit done? Mm-hmm. Okay, click. Mm-hmm. Leave this shit. <laughs> hey, let me talk to you about this, man. What's you, up? Uh, did you vote last year? I don't think so. No, are you into politics? Are you into politics at all? Nothing like that. Okay, we're on the same page then, because I don't know, I don't know motherfucking shit about politics. I'm not into politics. Me neither. I'm not into sports. Um, as far as like religion, I know how I feel as far as my religious beliefs, mm-hmm. but you know, people don't like to talk about it as much because. People always find it something fucking offensive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it's crazy how you can talk about all of this. But then when you look at what is left out, it's like the most important shit. But you got to leave it out because, you know, people get offended by any fucking thing. Always. Because yeah. it's just an opinion. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Pull that mic up like, angle it like that. Damn. Yeah. I yeah. didn't get this mic straight. <laughs> But no, I feel you on that. Religion's a fucking uh, touchy uh, shit. But I, I, I ain't never afraid to talk about religion. I'm not either. I ain't never afraid to talk about it. I'm not either, yo. But because look, like here's the thing, dog. This is man. We're in Mansfield right now, right? Right. You got probably like I don't know. I don't know the fucking head count, Mansfield. But I'm gonna tell you that ninety uh, percent of the moms that live in Mansfield mm-hmm. consider themselves a Christian. Right. Right. Most of them stay at home moms, right? A good like eighty percent of Mansfield moms are stay at home moms, and they all drive a um, uh, Chevy uh, Tahoe or a okay. or a um, Escalade uh, <laughs> SUV. Okay, okay. All, always black, right? They always it always like three times the size of them, right? Like they can barely <laughs> steer that home, and they all consider themselves a Christian, right? Right. But when it comes time when there's someone that say there's a bum on the street that they, that that needs money, right? They don't give that money, right? Someone cuts them off, right? They cuss them the fuck out, okay? When they come time to church, they go to church, right? But just cuz you go to church don't mean you got a fucking free ticket. You feel me? Because I, because I'm in church one time and the the preacher's talking about he's like you got to give to God, you give your um, n- not give your money to God, but when it's time to donate, donate, right? Because yeah. any money you give God, God gives back to you, right? But like I said, it, all these moms and shit going to church, but they ain't giving to the church, right? They just go because Sandra down the street gonna judge you at the PTA meeting Man. if you don't go. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. So like all this religion shit, when people are like, I don't want to talk about religion, I'm like, dude, let's talk about it because. I don't think you know what, what what religion is. So you gonna come at me and tell me what I'm doing wrong, <laughs> and and tell me my religion fucked up when you don't even know what religion right, is. Yeah. You feel me? People See. that know what religion is is back in the day, like back in the day, day. Yeah. Like the sandals and sand times. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> look, check this out. They still look. There are some. There are some that still go by, you know, the old ways. Right. So, of course, people are still going to go by, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. you got to repent, beg for forgiveness. And some people, they they, they take it too much. They've made it to to where if you're a Christian, 
you're expected to do this and mm-hmm. do that at all times. At all times. At all times. Otherwise, you're not considered a Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then there are some people that view it differently. You know, people have bypassed all of the BS as far as. Dude, when it comes to being judgmental, that is a very big thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Whenever, especially when it that's comes like to the religion. number. That's like one of the number one. Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, what are there? How many sins are there? Seven. Yeah. Seven sins. That's like one of the main ones is judge judgment. Yeah. Yeah. But when you repent, people always look at it as oh, you repent this many times, you really don't mean it. No, mm-hmm. it's not that. It's just that. Everybody's not perfect. That's like that. Like goes with um, um, not Christianity, but um, ah, uh, Hispanics. What am I trying to say? What? Mine just went blank. Uh, Catholic, uh, Catholics, Catholics, Catholics. That's like the thing where like they go into the little room with the pastor right next to him, or the whatever the the guy. Talking about they like the confession, the confession thing whatever right you know what i'm talking about about? and they're like they tell him their sins and then he's like say seven hail marys this and that this and that so that's the shit that right there that i'm like what the (laughs) so you telling me right that i'm gonna go (laughs) shoot johnny down the street right (laughs) put him in the hospital but hey let me calm down and repent my sins real quick say my seven hail marys and hey i'm out Right, like I'm no. good, right? <laughs> like, what are we doing? No, no, no. That's how they make it look. See, man, that's the thing. Like, I know they. I see that's that's the thing. Like, when it comes to religion, people do things totally different. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not Catholic, so that's why I wouldn't know. That's but, what I'm saying. You know, we do do things totally different. We got Jews, Catholics, Christians. Yeah. Uh, something. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Fucking thousand of them. <laughs> it's like, hey. Let's have a meeting. Who right here? <laughs> Who got the right story? Because I'm sick of hearing right. this, motherfucker, this motherfucker, this motherfucker, this motherfucker, this <laughs> motherfucker. Whoa, we, what's the real story here? You see what I'm saying? It's just like we all say that this happened. No, 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 no. This happened. No, no, no. This happened. Yeah. Your religion says don't judge. But, but the Christians over here judging the Jews. The Jews over here judging the Catholics. Yeah. The Catholics over here judging the atheists. Right. What are we? Do- That's why when people say religion, I go, "What? What is religion?" Yeah, you notice that that's like the that's like the three things that that's always gonna have controversy is mm-hmm. religion, sports, politics, and sexuality. Now that's 2019. Yeah, you can add that in there yeah. too. But I mean, politics, I probably put number one though. As, yeah, as far as today's state, with, this politics is everything. With the new twenty twenty coming, and that, that I don't know how we got to religion there. When I asked, "Did you vote?" I don't, fuck we, I don't know how we got that, but we I got don't that. know, bro. But but I'm glad we talked about that because we're on the same page when it comes to that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so what what I was gonna say? Okay, so you you familiar with uh, uh uh he's a mayor, I don't know what state, but his name's Pete Buttigieg. Right, he's a gay uh, white male. Right, has a boyfriend. The whole nine yards. What's his last name? Booty judge, booty judge, something like that. Right, some crazy shit or whatever. Um, but goes back to, goes back to the conversation we had when we were talking about people um, mad when they ain't doing shit because you're doing shit. Right. Right. So these people come out and they accuse him of sexually assaulting young kids. What? Right, like that's some crazy shit, dog. Like you just don't come out and say he's sexually harassing little kids, right? So comes to comes the conclusion that these people that were accusing him of having these uh, sexual acts with these kids was on video admitting that they was making this whole shit up just Wait, to get him out of office. What? You know what I'm saying? So they made all that shit up. Made all this shit up just to get him out of office, dog. That he slept with little boys, dog. So Michael Jackson shit. Shout out MJ, dude. What? It's just like <laughs> what the fuck? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, dude. If people is coming out, see that's the that's that thing where like I, I've had this conversation before where I tell people like mm-hmm. you don't want to get famous, dog. At the same time, you want to get famous, but at the same time, the more attention. The more drama, the more drama, the yeah. more stress, you know, to the mind, you know, yeah. it's like with the social media shit. I don't like to, I try to post 
to stay relevant for the podcast now. If I didn't have the podcast, I'd be on there looking, but I wouldn't be posting. People be on some weird shit, yeah, especially when it comes to this social media shit. Yeah. It's crazy out here. Like, I mean... I don't mean to use her as an excuse. I mean, like, like as an example, but I got to. You know that chick Tierra Marie. Yep. You heard about what happened to her, right? Uh-uh, uh-uh. So there was some shit that leaked out with her, where I don't know who homie was, but apparently homie busted a nut on her face, right? And the, she he's literally recording this shit, and for some reason the shit ended up being on social media. It's like for some reason, like yeah, you gotta go to, reason. you have to go to the post button, and everything yeah, to post is bro, her. That's but what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Go on, keep going, keep going. Like they made multiple posts. Like they had a video mm-hmm. one, and they had a picture of her just face just covered. Yeah, and then Fifty Cent grabbed onto that yeah, shit, yeah. bro. Savage ass Fifty like, Cent, don't give a fuck, <laughs> bro. Yeah. Now you look at how everything's going right now, and now it's like. She owe this nigga money now, bro. <laughs> this is the one. This is the one where yes, the boyfriend posted on on the social media. Fifty or that was Fifty Cent's homeboy that was that posted it. Yeah. And then so she said something. Or no, 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 no. I remember now. Fifty Cent repost the picture. Yeah, that's what it was. And so she goes out of her way, sues the dude that posted it, and then sues Fifty, right? And then so she comes at 50, 50 wins that hoe, turns around and uh-huh. sues this girl. Yeah, like it, where my money is. Yeah, and then she's at the airport walking to, I don't know where she was doing, and 50 had someone come up to her ass and serve her ass in the airport. Yep. that's Yes. <laughs> and then 50 won that hoe, and then he 50 got paid. You and know, 50 did... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Then she made, like, a diss track or some shit. Like, yeah, it was Yeah, like she made it. Everybody's like, hey, shut the fuck up. You got none in your face still. You shut the fuck you up. You still owe this nigga money. Like, what the fuck? You got served <laughs> in the airport, dog. Like, you was trying to get away, and you still got served. Yep. He, like, he thought she was getting away. 50 Cent just got into another situation that he 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 just he was about to sue someone, but he got his money, got a mill. This Ooh. dude named uh, Banks, I don't know the... He's a money guy, right? Named Banks or whatever. Mm. Put on, uh, he put on uh, social media to banks. He, I guess, fifty had loaned him like a mill or something like that. Uh-huh. And he told, and he told the banks guy, he was like, "Hey, dog, it's been like a minute. You ain't paying my money. I need my money." And the bank, er, and I guess banks didn't respond to it because he put it on social media. Uh-huh. And so he texts banks and was like, "Hey, dog, I need my money. Blah blah blah. I don't get my money, so I'm gonna get hurt, right? For verbatim." And uh, he was like. He was like, no, 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 this motherfucker, bro, he's a troll. He goes, no, 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 I'm sorry, Fofty. He misspelled this motherfucker's name on purpose, what? right? It's 50, but Fofty, right? And you're like, oh, it's a common mistake, right? And then a couple of days later, he goes, I'm sorry, Fofty. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this motherfucker playing, dog. But there's yeah. one thing you need to know: don't fuck with Fifty when it comes yeah, to money, bro. Because he had your ass. He ain't bro. never won. He ain't never lost a lawsuit. Yeah, we see that. Regardless, it's never. Yeah, needless to say, Fifty got his mill back by Man, yesterday. Yeah, his shit. Like he ready to sue, motherfucker. He <laughs> ready. He like dog, you got know, you. You know, you not want Fifty to sue your ass for real. But going back to the vote thing, I think we need a this upcoming. I've never voted before. I'm 22 years old. How old are you? 23. 23. I'll be 23 in a couple months. Word. Yeah. What you got going on? Nothing. Not a damn thing. You just chilling for your birthday? Always chilling. Man. And I'm not the type of dude to be like, it's my birthday. Put on yeah. this snatch. Oh, <laughs> shit. No, You know bro. what I'm talking about? I might make a snap, but like, Son. that's it. That's it. I ain't trying to get fucked up. Son, bro, I-, I can't tell you how many females on my Snapchat, when it's their birthday, they post... Happy birthday to me, or birthday, or put like the birthday. Mo- it's like, dude, yeah, listen, right. listen, 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 chick, listen, listen. This ain't the MySpace and Facebook days. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you remember we used to wake up in the Facebook days? You be like, see how many motherfuckers gonna post happy, yeah. happy birthday on my my page? Bro. They still stuck on that. 
You know that Facebook shit when you get like messages like it's such and such birthday. I didn't I didn't ask for that shit. I don't give a fuck. I didn't ask for that shit, nigga. Every time I see that, I don't every time I see happy, I go, I don't even even read it. I I do not need a reminder. I don't need a reminder. Birthday. birthday. Like if I hit the app, that's cool. You can tell me, but don't (laughs) alert me while I'm asleep just to wake me me up and tell me it's somebody's birthday. I can see that shit when I wake up. Twitter be doing that shit. Twitter be like so and so, like so and so's post. Man, I was like, what the fuck? (laughs) What I'm gonna go up there and check that hole? But uh, it's just like if you're looking for validation on your birthday for someone's happy birthday to you, my my G, you got problems, and you need to surround yourself with better people. Yeah, like I might post it on there, say yo, you know, I'm saying I'm doing my shit, whatever. But I'm not gonna do it to where I'm like, okay, I just do y'all know it's my birthday. Yeah, know it's my yeah. Do y'all know it's my birthday? Like, nah. Like, if y'all know when my birthday is, cool. If y'all don't, yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna post this shit and say it's my birthday. But at the same time, I'm not doing it just for validation, just to say, hey, say something on my it's birthday. Just, yeah, it's just that attention shit. You feel yeah, me? man. Like, we, st- we still living. We still doing our thing. And if you followed me, or like I said, if you know me for so long, you know my birthday is. Then hey, what's good? Exactly. Yeah. But like I was, my, oh, damn, I keep getting off the vote shit. I need to stay on this vote. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> so what I was, so what I was trying to say is we need, we need to vote this year. For who? Right? I don't know. That's the thing. Because I'm not I'm I'm not the type of dude to get heavily involved with politics and shit. Yeah. But it, it's coming to a point where like we got to get involved with politics and we got to know what's going on because at this rate that we're going, Trump gonna get another four years. Man, if I vote for anybody, I vote for Waka Flocka. Walk fucker 2020, baby. Hey, what happened to Kanye West 2020? Man, we that y'all crazy keep, motherfucker. Y'all keep that, yo. We can, we need a walk flocker. You know what I'm saying? We need walk a race. Uh, we need that in action because I remember when people was talking about that before, and I was like, "Is this motherfucker really from the right? If he is, what's going on? How do we make that possible?" Y'all can keep Kanye though, because I don't Kanye know. Kanye has some bullshit. Yeah, man. Like I'm not even. I don't even know, bro. Like, Kanye get pegged by Kim. You know that? He got what? He gets pegged by Kim. What you mean he get pegged by Kim? Get, what do you think it means? Oh, you think? Oh, you think he getting ran through by he Kim? Ran through by Kim, son. Man, and shoot. Chloe. Shit, I wouldn't. Shit, you know what happens too? What? Bruce Jenner make a stop by too. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no! Nah. Like, what's good? Like, huh? <laughs> you, hear, <laughs> you hear like, well, you hear like, go boy, like, yeah, yeah, you hear, what's up? You like, oh, what the <laughs> fuck? You like, what? Is, well, hold you on. You see some? Do you see that dick and some tits? You like, I smell the perfume. Oh, what is going no, on? That's my worst night. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> you like this shit already gay, and then this motherfucker coming here now is officially gay. Yeah, like, nah. Man, man. Um, shout out Kanye, man. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your dick in your pants and put your tits back in your shirt. Dude, Episode 30. Got to, dude. It's crazy out here, man. Episode 30. Um, <laughs> Listen, man, I'm in the gym the other day, right? Right. Let me get this on my chest. Get off your chest hour. Episode 30. I'm at the gym the other day. I want to make a pub- public service announcement after this. Oh, shit. And, um, you know, I'm on the uh, stair stepper. Now, let me tell you this. I, I wake up in the morning. or I shower at nighttime, okay? I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, and I go straight to work, right? No time to shower that fucking early, right? Mm. I go to work. I get off work. I come home, okay? I take another shower, right. okay? I go to the gym, right? So I shower before the gym, Okay. Because if I didn't shower before the gym, it'd be a fucking mess in that motherfucker, right? Yeah, I feel you. Well, I mean, sure. If I got to... If, yeah. if I'm going straight for the... I'll, I'll do it. Don't get me wrong. But if I got the option, I'm showering real quick. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. So, I go, you know, I go to the gym, right? I, I smell good. Even even my sweats still smell like soap. You feel <laughs> me? It's hygiene, you know? Keep your hygiene up. Yeah, I feel you. And, uh, you know, I'm on the stair stepper. Just got to do my workout, doing some cardio. This black female comes up beside me, right? Shout out to my black queens out there, man. We respect y'all. Love y'all. But this one I did not love or respect. Oh, what? She gets on the the stair stepper right next to me, dude. And dude, motherfucker, dude. There's a gas station right next to the gym. 
It's not that hard to walk in that hoe, grab some goddamn deodorant, <laughs> slap that hoe on your pits, dog. <laughs> Dude, because the thing is, <laughs> is when you get beside someone that has bo, yeah. Now, because listen, bo ain't well, bo ain't just like this. Bo go ten feet that way, ten feet that way. <laughs> it causes a whole ten feet diameter around the person, right? So now the person beside me, or someone that comes up next to me, now I now they think I'm the one with bo, and I'm like, I shower, hey, yeah, hey, no. like, hey, hey, I shower. <laughs> but it's just like hey public service now is it to, if you're a woman not a woman uh whatever you are if you're a woman man man woman put some fucking deodorant on before you go anywhere man yeah if you go into the gym it don't even matter like if you go to the gym just slap it on slap it on just slap it on dog it's i keep cool. one in my car one in my bag that i take everywhere with me Word. and one in there Sure. You not catch me slipping, man. Yeah, just slap it on. Like if you if you're gonna go and work out in some sleeveless shit, you oh. know what I'm saying? Or if you're gonna work in like them little them little t shirts, them oh. little workout t shirts, come on, you know you're gonna be working on that all day. Come on, you know you are. You know you fucking shit stink. I know yeah, you can just, smell it. Yeah, just put some more. Fucking on. nasty bitch. Come on now. That what else going on this week, man? What else going on this week, man? We want you got anything? Uh, I mean, as far as got the new project coming out. Yeah, I got the project that's gonna be coming out soon. I'm excited for it, my friend. Oh yeah, I appreciate that, bro. It's gonna be a nice one. It's gonna be, it's gonna be for the night riders, the ones that like to ride late at night. Yeah. It's gonna be for y'all. It's gonna, it's gonna have that jam to it. You know, I'm excited, man. Oh yeah, bro. It's gonna be vibing. How many tracks gonna be on there? Uh, I want to say probably. Depends. Probably like nine or ten. Ooh, that's a double scoop. Just depends on how it go. Yeah, yeah. Uh hey, you like the Avengers? No. Oh, motherfucker, dude. Let me tell you what. Man. <laughs> What's up? I've been fucking trying to get Avengers tickets for weeks, dog. That shit been sold out. It's the last Avengers. Avengers Endgame. That shit been sold out I'm, for weeks, dog. Good, yeah, I think the last one was spoiled for me. So yeah. when I heard it, I was like, okay. Okay, so the last one was like an hour, 30 minutes, dog. This one, three hours. But that's the thing. I, I finally got tickets to it tomorrow. Oh, really? Oh, I'm pumped. But see, that's the thing, though. I'm not interested in it no more because somebody spoiled the last one. I've been staying. I've been trying to stay off. If I see anything that has an A in it, I'm scrolling. Man. <laughs> You know, you ain't gonna ruin it for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I mean, a lot of people was very anxious about like y'all yeah, already yeah. spoil this shit. Or you not? hear about the motherfucker that I think it was in uh, China, or whatever. Mm-hmm. He watched him. He watched the the pre uh, the the very first one. Goes outside of the theater and starts spoiling it for people that are walking in, like yelling out what happens. Right? I guess what. That motherfucker his ass beat, son. They <laughs> jumped his ass. <laughs> they jumped his ass, son. They imagine, said. imagine you walk in the theater, right? You like just walk happy for in game, right? You walk in it, you just say ah ah. You like, oh shit, why he get his ass beat? Sport in game. Oh fuck him. <laughs> just keep walking in. <laughs> Dog, you deserve to get your ass beat. You do that. They throw chairs at you and shit. They like, motherfucker. I'm beating a motherfucker ass. Ain't spoil the in game when I'm walking in, son. What the man. fuck? Three hours long, man. Man, I'm already. You I'm, best believe I'm going in some some PJs and some slippers. Shit. I ain't did that in a minute. Fuck though. around to me. I ain't gonna bring a pillow in there. Well, not a pillow, shit. <laughs> 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 shit, I'm finna eat. We are gonna watch this movie. We are gonna see what's going on. Especially yeah, if I'm yeah. going to some PJs. Yeah, yeah. Come on, it's going down. Because they got the recliners over here. Hell yeah, that's oh, what I'm saying. That's all. I, that's the way I go to. They got the recliner. I'm like, come on, what's good? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the chilling. Real shit. Well, y'all good? Anything else you wanna go off your chest, man? Anything before we before we stop this thing? Uh, shoot. Not much, pretty. I mean, pretty much. We forty minutes in. Forty minutes for real. Uh huh. Didn't even feel like forty minutes, right? For real, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought I was gonna take a break and everything. Uh, no. Nah, with that being said, much love to everybody. Oh yeah, shout out to uh the weight of silence. Yo, they doing they shit. Who's out that in Australia? Yo, I gotta send you some of they shit. Yeah, yeah, do they, that. They 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 do music, Rap? right? Nah, it's like you know drums, okay, guitar. Okay, okay, okay. The reason why I don't know, I don't want to categorize it uh-huh. yet, is because I don't know which 
correct okay. genre. It's probably the genre that I like. Probably. Yeah, I, yeah. I'll let you bump some of this Grungy, shit. but like. Man, like. I don't know how to put it, bro. It's just okay, music. Okay, okay. If you if you could, if you could compare them with someone, who would you compare them to? Uh, I say like Slipknot. You know, like Send me Adamna, that shit. Send me that shit. Yeah, Corn- yeah. yeah, bro. I let you bump that shit. Yeah, yeah. I got you, bro. Okay. But yeah, they out in Australia, and I met. Um, shout out the Hermit. The the Hermit. Shout out the <laughs> homie Jerb. We met through the. Um, we met through the PlayStation. I was playing Rainbow Six. That's how we met through there. Really? We met some other people on there as well. But I found out that he did, um, that he was doing his music shit. And then when I stumbled upon it, yeah, yeah. I was like, damn, y'all really doing y'all music shit. Like, y'all on YouTube and everything. I'm like, that's fucking fire. So shout out to y'all. Oh, so that's how you that's how you found them. Yeah. That's the, see, that when you find something like that, that's the best on music. On a game. Yeah, that's, that's the best music. <laughs> it's, it's one of those things where like, you don't see on Instagram, right? Like you're just on iTunes or whatever. You're just looking yeah. around, and then you're like, "What's this?" You click it, and it's like, D- and it's some good shit. You're like, "Yeah, that's the this music." Shit fire. <laughs> uh, look, man, Modern Music's podcast, baby, episode thirty. It's round class episode thirty, baby. We killed it. Just me and chill, baby. We doing our thing. Solo riders, man. Yes. Uh, if you want to catch us on the SoundCloud, we're at Modern Rejects Podcast and the YouTube. Is that Modern Music Podcast? Catch Chill as one of my subscribers. I'm subscribed to him on my YouTube. You're going to find him. Go there. Um, check out his music, man. It's good shit. It's not some shit you're going to listen to and turn off immediately. You listen to it because the words are right and the flow is there and the beats are, are good, man. So uh, listen. support my Just guy, listen. man, because you support him now. You're going to be one of his longtime listeners. So when he get bigger... You're going to be one of the motherfuckers that I discovered this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, it's so, right there. So be there now and see the tree grow, man, because it's going to grow big. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> the seed's been planted. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And now it's just growing. Yeah. You feel me? Uh, shout out, Cody. Shout out, Dylan. Shout out, uh, Don't fuck with me. Uh, hey, man, I'm out of here, dude. I'm, I'm, so I'm in here sweating. <laughs> I'm fucking losing my mind, man. <laughs> Episode 30. Thank you for listening. If you got this far, man, we appreciate you. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your grandma. Tell your mama. Tell your all your friends. Put their dick back in their pants and put their tits, tits back, back in the shirt. shirt. This is the Monday's podcast on your radio. We'll see you next week. I mean, look, if you want me to sign them tits, you just let me know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you might as well get it before it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Because you're gonna be like, damn, I should have kept them in my shirt. But wait a minute, where's Chill? Get your tits signed, baby. We you, out. You waited. All right. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha